Uh, Kathy Adams, our state president, is in Austin today, and she had a major problem with her car, so she is um, a safety issue with her car, so she is uh, troubleshooting that right now, otherwise she would be here representing our organization. Um, so Bills and uh, went over uh, ALAC, we're American Law for American Courts, or held support of that, and um, we hope that that will finally start moving. I went to the, it was late getting here this morning, I went to the House Education Committee and the Senate Education Committee, and they're starting to hear a lot of, a lot more bills there. Um, you'll see more social uh, issues coming up in, in the bills um, that I'm, I'm looking at, and I, I want to kind of hear, I'm going to go back and hear the layouts of bills before I report on them to you uh, today. I want to know more about the bill. Sometimes when you hear a bill laid out by the author, you learn lots more what the, the job of the bill really is. Uh, House Bill 4 is the major push by Dan Huberty for uh, pre-K. This is uh, getting our children into school at an earlier age, and it's a very bad idea. And um, we're asking you to ask your senator to oppose House Bill 4. Um, it has passed the House, and it has gone over to the Senate, and we're waiting to see just how. Um, what action will take there. Um, House Bill 742 by Dan Huberty is a bad bill. Uh, this takes away the eighth grade end of course test in social studies. And we know that schools teach to the test, or whether we like it or not, they teach to the test. So if they eliminate the end of course star test, then they won't be teaching our excellent social studies standards. This is U.S. history that is taught in the eighth grade. So this is very important. This is U.S. history from the beginning of our country up to uh, the Civil War. So we want our kids to have that foundation and know the truth. I was there when our uh, State Board of Education had more conservative members and they had a great influence. They hashed out very meticulously our state social studies standards. And you know, social studies is a big umbrella. It covers U.S. history, world history, economics, psychology, world geography, uh, Texas history. Uh, so this, this is a very broad umbrella, and it's important our kids learn, learn, learn these things uh, in our schools. So uh, it's very important that we oppose House Bill 742 by Dan Huberty. And uh, <coughs> that is in the calendars committee right now. We would hope that um, it dies there. I remember one time I uh, heard a House member years ago say, I'm serving on the calendars committee. He told someone where bills go to die. Well, that's a good place to kill them. Those are 742. Uh, I already talked about uh, ALAC, House Bill 4105 by Cecil Bell and Drew Springer uh, was voted out of the House State Affairs Committee and sent to the calendars committee. And we're asking that you uh, ask your uh, reps to support this bill. And uh, Senate Bill 635 by Charles Perry is I think that's all I have to report on today. Thanks for your attention. Sweet. Can I ask you a question about, um, is going to Hunter's office and filling out the red card or the green card, uh, is that effective? <coughs> Is that, does that count, or is that just an exercise to make us all feel good when we go in there? Well, it's very offensive to me. Okay. Because it's talk to the hand. Okay. It's, you walk into the office, I was there last week, and there's a, there's a little stack, a one of the is stack, you've probably been there, a stack, yep. for those of you who haven't been there, there's a stack of red cards and a stack of green cards. And there is a little, and so you could write, in support uh, on, of course, a green card, go in support of a bill there, a bill that is in, in uh, the calendars committee. Or you can sign a card, vote against, a red card to vote against a specific bill. They do give you a little box on which you can write some comments. So, yeah. yes, <laughs> that is an improvement over what it has been in the past, okay? So the chairman of the calendars committee doesn't want to talk to us, obviously. Talk to the hand. Uh, excuse me, I'm left. <laughs> um, anyhow, uh, 
this is this is just their way of ignoring us, if you ask me. Uh, I don't. I think it's a good idea to go and talk to all of the calendars committee members. It's a big committee. It's time consuming, but it's worth the time to go with your talking points. Um, I like to take a white piece of paper, use a, a big font type, have lots of white space there. You want them to read it. So take your bullet points, your talking points, why you or your organization opposes the support bill. But good question, Matt. And um, I hope I answered so it. So go ahead and do it for now and, and then go ahead and, and, go do, ahead and do it, it and then talk to the committee members De as well. Definitely go and and, uh, and sign the red or green card. Definitely do that. Okay. Get away in there. Okay. And some? I beg your pardon. Thank you for coming. Yes, and make a comment, and yeah. uh, I would go to the individual uh, calendars committees and tell your friends to call the calendars committee. Don't forget, they have the same delete key you and I have on their committee. So um, let them know a phone call 